Okay, so first pasture upgrade. $10,000. Second farm. Okay, that's only $4,000. That's not too bad. Indoor arena. Oh my gosh. I suddenly don't want an indoor arena. Indoor arena who? I don't need that. Knowing Madeline, my sugar mommy, she's gonna give me money. Madeline always is like, here, I'll help you out with it. And then just gives me a ton of money. Madeline, baby girl, you're not helping me out with it. You're literally buying it for me. <laughs> Hello everybody, really quickly before the video, I just wanted to say a few things. Firstly, I do already have a video out on this game, so if you want a little bit more context or just to see that first, I will put that in the description and I will have a playlist set up for this game specifically. Also, I am doing a giveaway for this game for anybody who wants to enter on my Instagram and it ends the 16th. Now, if you're watching this video and you happen to miss it, don't worry, I will be doing more giveaways on my Instagram, YouTube, and Discord in the future. And if you would like to support me in any way, I do have a Ko-Fi in the description, so go check that out. Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. Today we are going to continue our little ranch of Rivershine journey. Now the last video, we kind of cut off suddenly. We cut off on day five or the beginning of day five and we are going to go and explore our very first trail. I'm very excited about it because I really love the graphics in this game and the design and everything, so I want to see nature. I also hope in this video to get somewhat closer to foals because I think that was the one thing I was really excited for in this gameplay was the breeding in the foals. Lupin. I did say right. Now that you've explored the town, I think it's time to work on clearing the trail to the Lupin Meadow. Believe me, you'll have a lot more space to ride around there. Okay, so we're gonna go see her and talk about the trail. Um, I forgot if I left my horse in the stall or the pasture. Either way, we're gonna go and get forest. I hope also in this video that we learn something about like foraging and growing stuff at my place. We also need to clean Forrest's stall because it won't let me clean the stall unless I'm like in there with him and unless he's in the stall. So I hope that they add that feature as well that you could like turn out the horses and then muck their stall or whatever. You doing good? Also, I'm sorry if you guys can hear my like, my keyboard. My mic is really sensitive to like sound on my desk. I've gone from like game to game with horses, so I'm like confused about the controls. This is not the barn, that is my house. Also, one thing I've noticed about this game is the horses, the ear controls, they randomly go back and then forward, and I'm wondering if it has something to do with like attitude or is it just like random generated, you know? The care meter was really low last time I played because I didn't know I could brush my horse. I knew I could brush it, but I didn't know like I actually had to physically like brush it like this. You know, like down here you just press it and it like automatically brushes your horse. Yeah, that's what I thought it was. So I apologize for my past unintentional mistreatment of my horse because it's getting a little messy in here. The trust meter is pretty low. Um, I kind of want to get the trust up as well before I get another horse. I do know how we get trust with the horse because of last video, but I want to know like how fast does trust usually like go up? Because I didn't play for a super long time last video. I only played for like two hours. We don't really have a big energy level as it is. Like, look at the energy level underneath the canter. We don't really have a, a big energy level to start off with for the day. I thought that the energy level would be a little bit bigger. Got some horse hoof ASMR. Also, I saw a comment on my last video about music and why I didn't have the music on. I really do love the music in this game. I think that was the first thing that I really talked about, about the development of this game when I first saw it. But music, sadly, when you're editing, especially when you make like slip ups or something and you need to edit like a gap in the video, it's really inconvenient to have the music like cut and paste and like you don't have like the full soundtrack underneath. So it's easier just to have the music off and then I edit the video and put music on there after. So you guys will be hearing music, but in reality, it's, it's gonna be a very quiet moment for me other than the birds. Here's a bit of money to help you get started. And once you have the rest, you'll be able to hire Jai to open the trail. Once it's open, you'll be able to explore this new area, meet the farmer who lives there, and of course, open a new competition in the Lupin Meadow. It'll be worth the trouble, I promise. All right, so we have to go talk to Jai. Oh, he's at the park office. How much money do I have? I don't have a ton of money, but can you just get horses anytime? Or do you have to wait until like the next quest to get horses? Hello. I forgot how much I love this character's appearance. Hello. Howdy, Carissa. Howdy. 
Oh, I can purchase it right now. Okay. We got the Lupin Meadow trail open again. Okay, so I can go explore the Lupin Meadow. I'm not sure how like long I can go on the trail because my horse's energy isn't the best. I'm curious about the farmer though. I wonder if like seeing the farmer opens up the possibility for like, you know, other features of the game. Maybe the farmer will teach me some things. Okay, Lupin Meadow. Where are we going? Sorry, I just, I got lost in the tunes. Ooh, can we interact with this? Ooh, oats. I can forage. This part of the video is probably gonna be so boring because it's just me like swaying. I don't know if anybody else does that when they game, but I find myself swaying really often when I'm gaming. Like, especially when I don't have my webcam on, you guys can't see like what I look like behind the screen, but I'm just like, I'm vibing. Am I even going the right way? Okay, we're going to start a guide because I don't know what I'm doing. Also, my energy level is just still consistently going down. And I just hope that my horse doesn't run out of energy in today's uh, adventure. I think I'll be okay. Let me really quickly give my horse a treat. Okay, there its energy is going up now. Here's the farmer's place. Fresh market. Can I like take his crops? Do you think that's mean? Does he even allow me to? Imagine if I could just like steal all of his crops. I'm kidding. Uh, stay in school. Don't steal. That's bad. I can't take this, right? Because this is outside of his farm. Yeah. We're gonna go meet the farmer. I keep on saying him. I imagine like a whole like, you know, like Jasper from SSO. I imagine like a whole farmer, dude. Aisha. Aisha, we have the same nose ring. Look. Look. I have a gold nose ring. She has a gold nose ring. We're practically twins. I love the character concept art, you know, like the cute little drawing on the side. I love them so much because they look so like wholesome. Okay, so these are all the seeds. I'm guessing this is for when I get my little like farm area open because I saw it in the last video. You could see that there was like these little planting boxes and you can get, you can like plant stuff in there. And I've watched other videos where people actually do talk about it a little bit more. Like they know more than obviously I do because I have no idea what I'm doing in this game half the time. Okay, so we have seasons in this game as well. Oh, I love the farming side of this game. Okay, so we don't have a quest with Aisha, but I did buy some orchard grass. Now I'm kind of broke, so we're gonna have to go and do some competitions. This is actually the time of day, I think, that I go back to my place. So I wonder if it gets dark in this game or does the time just keep on going and it stays light? Kind of like Alaska, the state where like at 11 p.m. in some areas, it's just still sunny out. If anybody ever watches my videos from a place where it's still sunny at like 10 or 11 or like still daytime out and it's like 10 or 11 p.m how do you sleep like is it weird not having it be dark out i guess when you live in a place long enough it's like the whole light theory you know like if somebody just lives in a room with a light on 24 7 they just get used to it it's just normal for them i love the sound effect when you jump over a jump i don't know why but it makes me so happy it's like the little shoo. Whew. Whew. The urge to just remake every single sound effect I hear sometimes, I have to fight it off. Okay, somehow that worked. That was a risky jump right there. It's time to go night-night. Oh my gosh, the care meter is going up. What is our trust at now? Our trust is at 16%. It was at 12% before we started riding. Oh my gosh, we're bonding. We need to get sparkles everywhere. I always go out this way. I always go out to the pasture instead of the actual entrance to the barn to the house. I feel like overalls today. Okay, I don't have a name apparently. Carissa. What do we have today? All contestants are invited to participate in the flower field competition. A new beginner cross country course is now available in Lupin Meadow. Registrations are now open at Rivershine's competition board. Okay, we get to have a nice little Lupin Meadow competition. I need the money. My bank is hurting right now. So we're going to go take care of Forest and then we're going to go enter the competition. If the energy allows us, I kind of want to do two competitions today to see if I can make some more money. I also kind of want to save up for a horse. Oh my gosh. All those chickens were collected so nicely and I was like, 
I feel like I'm a bowling ball going into pins right now. It has like little sparkles coming out of it. It's kind of cool. I don't think we're meant to get first place first time around on every single uh, competition because it took me two tries to get to first place. But at the same time, maybe it was because that I just started and my horse wasn't that well trained. But we're gonna, we're gonna try and do better this time. I used to be obsessed with cross country when I was a kid and like watching like the, like the raw footage, like unedited footage of riders is my favorite thing to do. Oh, 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 oh. That could have been bad. It's a little tough to see those jumps. That was my bad as well. I need to stop going at those angles. I doubt we got first. Yeah, we got third. We got third. We got third in the first time around the other um, competition as well. I wonder if it's like, like I said, it's kind of like a first time competition thing where you don't get first or maybe I'm just not great. Who knows? Okay, we still have halfway energy, so I'm just going to go ahead and give him a treat so that he can have his energy back up. Oh, let me go complete the quest first. I want to try the loop and meta one again. I want to see if I can get first on that one. I hope you're well on this fine day. I am. To celebrate, here's an extra reward for you. Did she double it? Oh my gosh. I'm rich. Ready to race. Let me at it. When you line up completely to the jumps, it like allows you to jump it easier. I thought that was a giant bone. It's just rocks. <laughs> That's a big set of jumps. There was like four in a row. All right, we're almost to the end. Nice. I got first. Let's go. I got a good bit of money. Good chunk of money. That should set me to what? Almost $4,000? Or did I count wrong? Yeah, we're at 3.6 right now. I'm not going to fall for it this time. I'm better than that. I'm learning, guys. I hope one of the next quests is learning how to plant because I kind of want to do my little farm thing. I love farming games. I couldn't really get into Stardew too much, though, because Stardew, I don't know why, but like all the running around, it got annoying for me. Hi, hi, Chris. I've seen you running around gathering forage, but did you know you could grow your own? Let's go. I prophesized. Come see me in Lupin Meadow and I'll help you get your farm started. Do you mind gathering some oats for me if you go riding around there? Gather three oats. I think I already have oats, but I think it wants me to gather more. So I will definitely keep my eyes out for oats. We're going to go learn how to plant our own crops. And while we do that, we're going to keep our eyes out for oats for George. I've probably passed a lot of oats in this video and I'm sure players have seen me pass stuff that I can forage and are like, could forage that. You guys ever watch like gameplays of other YouTubers who play games that you play and they like do something that you already know but they don't know and you're like, I wanna tell them so bad. I'm gonna go ahead and, oh wait, I didn't mean to do that. I was pressed go to entrance. I'm gonna go ahead and start guide because I always sort of like go the wrong way and I don't want to get misled off my path and then end up just um, going somewhere completely different. Oh my god, I thought I was dead. I forgot I'm not playing RDR2. I hope that fall damage or whatever that hurts a horse is never added to this game because that could have been bad. I could have just killed my horse right there. They compete with me by starting their own crop farm. You were the one who offered to teach me. Now, from what I remember, you should already have a few farm plots next to your house, so I'll help you get started. Simply plant one pack of seeds per plot and they'll grow all on their own. Keep in mind that seeds grow in different seasons, need more or less days before they're ready for harvest and yield a varying amount of crops. So you can't just plant any seed and expect it to turn out perfect. Don't worry about it too much though. You'll find all the information you need on the seed packet. For now, I'll give you some carrot, oat, and milo seeds. Is that how you say it, milo? They all grow well in spring, so feel free to plant all of them. You'll also find a bit of swift fertilizer, which can be used to speed up the growth of your plants. There's more types of fertilizer you can use, but this one is pretty easy, so let's start there. I'll follow up in a couple days to see how it's growing, so don't forget to plant these when you get back home. Let's see some other seeds. Let's go and find some oats for George. That is not the door. That is her bedroom. I apologize, Aisha. I didn't, I didn't mean to look into your bedroom like that. <gasps> I see him. 
making his way downtown. Walking fast, faces past and he's uh, uh, peachy bound. Da -na 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 -na. I'm gonna go ahead and look around for oats to forage. I'll see any oats in these parts. Oh, I didn't even see that cliffside. I can see that there's sheep in the distance, but I don't see any oats. Oh wait, I see one. What is this right here? This isn't oats, is it? Or is it like another version? Oh, it's orchard grass. I feel like you can forage everything that you can buy, right? Like that's what they've said in the game. I feel like that's pretty self-explanatory. Don't listen to me. All right, George. There he is. Come here. Jeez, $900 for oats. That's like more than what he gave me for the the straw. Excuse me, guys. The soft brush is $550. The hard brush is $3,775. I'm gonna buy a black classic saddle and a white classic blanket. That, the brush alone costs more than all the tack as well. Go race so that I can once again save up because I did spend money again. Going to any store on a game is equivalent to me going to Target. It's just like, you already know I'm gonna walk out with no money. It's how it is. I have the possibility to get a little bit more with the Lupin Meadow one. Even though it's only 150 more, it's still $150, you know? Plus, I already know the route pretty well, so I know like when to slow down. Isn't that the same time I got in the last race? I have $4,000, so I'm gonna go see if I can buy another horse. Bye, River. I'm gonna go buy you a sibling, don't you worry. Rare horses. I'm not really sure, like, what is a good point to, like, say, okay, yeah, I should buy this horse. Either way, I can't afford it. This is a lot of money. Oh my gosh, wait, this horse is so cute. Okay, I can't even buy these horses anyways. I'm kind of broke compared to what I need. I mean, I was expecting them to be the same thing as Forrest, but I think Forrest was a wild horse, was he not? Oh my gosh, hello to you too. Now that you've settled in a bit more on your ranch, have you thought about having a second horse? Every single time I talk about it, I swear to God, the next day, it happens. I talked about farming the day before yesterday, and then yesterday, Aisha was like, hey, how about you farm? Oh wait, I forgot to plant my crops. Anyways, Aisha's like, hey, how about you go and build a farm? and come and get like seeds for me, you know? And then Madeline is talking about a second horse. Okay, maybe River's gonna help me get to intermediate because I can't jump intermediate stuff just yet. I would get you a hard brush and be able to groom you down a lot faster, but mama ain't spending $3,000, okay? I'll gladly take the time to brush you instead of spending $3,000 and justifying it because oh my gosh. Our trust is up to 26% now. We're also gonna change the saddle. <gasps> okay. The bridle is not going to look the same. I wonder if there's a way to get like a matching bridle. I didn't see a classic bridle in there. He looks like an English horse. He kind of looks like King's, but King's doesn't have like a, a big face marking. I, I forgot to plant my seeds again. We'll do it tonight before I go to bed. I always say that. I'm like, I'll do it tonight before I go to bed. And then I don't do it. It never gets done. Did I forget or did I just procrastinate? Who knows? I have a black Western bridal. That's close enough, right? Knowing Madeline, my sugar mommy, she's going to give me money. Madeline always is like, here, I'll help you out with it. And then just gives me a ton of money. Madeline, baby girl, you're not helping me out with it. You're literally buying it for me. But I mean, I'm not complaining. I will gladly take the money. Where is she? She had a house or something. We're just going all over the place today. She was right beside George too. I basically just went the opposite direction of where Madeline was. All their houses are so nice. They have like these cabin mansions. Hello. Ooh, her house is nice. What kind of plants you got? Her books look like some like ancient spell book or something. I love how fancy their books look. Now that you've settled in on your ranch, have you thought about purchasing a second horse? You should have space for it since your stable can fit two of them. Feel free to come see the horses at the auction house whenever you feel like it. More vendors will visit the auction. I think that's supposed to say house. You will be able to look at up to 20 horses every day. I don't really have the money to spend right now on that, but that is a good like idea to buy in the future when I'm a little bit more serious about buying horses. Does that mean I have to sell forest? I think horses are just gonna be like a little bit more expensive because it was my first horse. I'm sure it was just cheaper. That or Forrest was like a, um, like a wild horse. 
I've been wondering, have you fed any grains to your horse recently? It's a really good way to focus on training a specific skill. Each type of grain will double your horse's skill training for the day, so be mindful what you feed them. I'll give you a bit of each grain so you can try it out yourself. Here, have a bit of corn to train speed, barley for endurance, milo for flexibility, and wheat for jump. Is it milo? I feel like I'm saying everything wrong. Milo. No, it's not wrong. Okay. Of course, you'll have to choose only one type of grain to feed your horse daily. We can't have horse eating all those grains every day. Why not? I was really hoping that it would tell me about like getting my horse up to certain levels for intermediate. I think in order to ride intermediate, I just have to train my horse more. I like how balanced this game is between quests and like grinding the game for money. You get money as you're doing the quests and it ties into what you're doing, but other games, kind of like similar to this one it's just all like money like you need to get money so you need to grind the game you need to play the game a lot and it does work if you play the game a lot but it's also like i want to enjoy other parts of the game and this helps me enjoy other parts of the game so i do like the style of this game and like the balance between questing and making money in the jump like once it turns green i just hope for the best at that point nice oh we're such pros all right, I'm going to try to beat my record. It's 133 is my record, I believe. Did I beat it? I beat it. Okay, so my record was 133. I'm now at 131. Okay, I think we have enough energy to do one more competition, but I want to be careful because the energy level is also your gallop meter in a way, so it only goes up to a certain point. 138 is second place, so as long as we make it before a minute 38, we should be okay. I'm zoning out right now doing this competition. Like I said, this is like a comfort cozy game. So, I mean, Eloise's company is cozy be game, so it makes sense, but it's like a cozy game and you can just zone out while playing it. No expectations. Well, expectations, but not really serious ones, not stressful ones. I just broke my record, let's go. I hope Aisha doesn't like yell at me for not planting my crops. So it's in between the ranch house and the in the barn in a way, so I'll remember that. Let's plant some oat seeds. Let's plant some milo seeds. Let's plant some carrot seeds. Should I use the fertilizer on it? Orchard grass will be ready in two days. So it just speeds it up by a day. So like if you use three fertilizer, it's gonna be done. So we filled each box. Okay. We don't have anything today. Oh my gosh. For the first time in forever, don't have a piece of mail. All right, we got orchard grass and then two apples. I kind of wanted to get into foraging IRL because I have a lot of forests and trails near me, but I don't know really how to get started because there's people around me that like actually forage. I remember one dude showed up on our property once and he was like, hey, can I go into your guys' forest and look for mushrooms? And we were like, yeah, sure. I mean, not like we're going to be using them. There's apparently a pretty big market for mushrooms. And he did, in fact, find mushrooms in our backyard and he gave us some. He taught us how to cook them and everything. He taught us how to soak them to get rid of spores or whatever. I don't know what they're called. Our potential is at 5%. How old is forest? Potential goes down over time as your horse ages. So how, how old is my horse? Wait, I forgot to put the black bridle on. Go back. The rider has an amazing seat on the trot. Let's see on the canter. Like even on the canter, like with the hips in the back, there's like a little bit of like a, a lean back on the canter. Like look, on like elevations and stuff, the rider brings her hands forward. And then when you go down kind of like steep slopes, the rider leans back. I didn't really realize that about the rider and the horse until today. I guess we're just going to keep on doing the Lupin Meadows one because it gives you more money. I'm going to save up money and then I'll get back to you guys because I don't want you guys to just watch me do competition after competition. All right, guys, I did two races and I have almost $10,000. I remember that one of them was a little bit cheaper and I'm not looking for super high stat horses because I'll eventually get to that point where I'll be making a good bit of money. But right now I just want another horse. We're going to do common horses. 
This one has good stats. Rand Sunshine. I'm gonna bid. Oh. Okay, we're gonna bid a little bit more. Holding the winning bid. I got a horse. Let's go. Let's head back to my place and meet the new mare. I'm gonna just name her Sunshine. Um, Grand Sunshine sounds like really formal. I like show names are different. Like, but if a horse has like a big name, I don't know. She just needs like a little nickname, like Sunny or Sunshine, you know? I also really wanted a mare in case like breeding. I want cute little chestnut babies. <sighs> Hello, Sunshine. Let's care for you. We have zero trust right now. I'm gonna do this spring western blanket. With English tack, I know a crime, but still. Wait, we have a new horse. Wait, she has full energy, does she not? Should we go and take her to the arena and train for a little bit? Because her potential is pretty high, so I want to use it up while we can. Jumps are so cute on this game. I love also how the player like places her arms forward. Like the, the positioning on this game for like every single animation is really good. So cute. What happens when you try and get a, a cute jump angle? Actually, I could just do trot and it's much easier. Okay, so I just trained Sunshine a little bit. Look at that energy bar. Like, it's right before the end. So we're gonna get Sunshine in. Gonna give Sunny a little bit of a break. Oh my god, the mare ears. I know the ears just go back sometimes, but it's just so coincidental that it's a chestnut mare. Did I did I mess up buying a chestnut mare? Like, you know the whole, like, chestnut mare rumor? Like, pumpkin. Pumpkin's a chestnut mare. It's starting to get a little bit dark out. I don't know. I don't think I've stayed up in this game enough to, like, see it get dark. Madeline wants me to take a look at the Wild Sprout statue because she's noticed something off about it. If the horse is left in the pasture, they don't need to be fed. All right, we're gonna put Forrest in the pasture for the day and we're gonna ride Sunshine just because of the trust level. I wanna get the trust level up as much as possible. So I'll just take turns riding them. Um, I wanna ride them both every day if I can, but in case I don't, I wanna focus on the horse that I most recently bought. Have you noticed how every time you win a competition in town, the glow of the town statue gets stronger? Not really. I, I wasn't paying attention to the statue. It was barely noticeable at first, but I've noticed it shining brighter and brighter. I know it sounds silly, but if you wouldn't mind entertaining me, keep winning competitions in town and let's see how bright our statue can shine. That's the only way I can really uh, get money. So Madeline, I'm, I was gonna do that anyways, but I'm a social experiment now. I don't see any shine though. All right, maybe if I win some shows, it'll shine a little bit more so I can see because it's not visible for me right now. Did I just break my record? Sunshine, she's got the speed. That's my sunshine. Ooh, wow. Compete in another show. Maybe I can break my record this time too. I doubt it, but maybe. You never know. All right. I didn't beat my record, but that's okay. I still made some good money. What is the energy level now? I feel like sunshine's energy level is going to be like dead. Yep. I guessed it. You just watch, guys. I'm going to become a pro cozy game farmer. Ooh, this one's ready. Let's plant some orchard grass seeds. We have one more day on these guys, don't we? Okay, two days, two days, tomorrow. So orchard grass is three days. Who we got here? George. Um, I've been thinking it would be good to open a new trade route in the pine forest. Okay, so we have a new trail opening up. That means new people, new quests, maybe new uh, crops that I can forage or just new areas to go around and forage. Is that an apple I see? Yes, sir. From far away. I actually like how... There were like sparkles put on the, the dropped apples because I can see them from further away. Look at that purdy blue ribbon put on Sunshine's stall. I hope that someday in this game it gets added so that your horse eats grass throughout the day. So if they're pastured for like a majority of the day, then they kind of get their hunger back up and then you can put them in the stall for the night. Oh, hi, George. Met me outside. I've been wondering you'd be interested in opening the trail to Pine Forest. Now, I know it's a little expensive, so I'll share the cost with you since it would be great use to me to have access to it. I'm sure you'll enjoy that area too and you'll be able to meet the carpenter who lives there. Okay, we get to meet a new character. I've heard he's been preparing some interesting plans to improve our ranch. Maybe I'll get to like build more stalls because you know in the back of the barn how there's like those boards. Maybe that's where stalls can go. Okay, so I think we need to go talk to Jai to find out the cost for the new trail. And that's the trail that I believe is connected to the ranch so I can access it from my ranch, which could be more convenient than having to go to Rivershine Town and then all the way to the Lupin Meadow Trail. I'm pretty confident now with my uh, 
Riverschine Ranch geography. And I know where I'm going most of the time now. Most of the time. All right, Pine Forest. Whew. Okay, I added a beginner meadow course to Lupin Meadows because it was only $250. But Pine Forest... $12,000. And he said that he would do half of it. So do I, like, is it already half? Or do I just get half of that money back from him? I mean, I have 8,000 already, but still I was planning on like saving that up for expansion or something, you know, because you never know what something's going to cost in the future. But it also gets me to the carpenter. So in order to expand, I kind of have to get that area first. Okay, I'm going to do a competition on sunshine and then I'm going to bring forest back over here. Did I just beat my record? Was my record not 127 last time? I don't think I beat my record. I think I just matched my record. Or did I beat it? Who knows? I guess I'll know when I start editing, right? Go crazy! I do see it now. Now that I'm looking at the actual particles. I'm gonna try to get to 12,000 so that I can get that new trail. I'm thinking that I'm not gonna be able to breed for a hot second. I don't know when it appears in the storyline. Let's go get Forrest, who's all the way out in the pasture. Did we get enough money? No. All right, we have Aisha here calling in her favors. Okay, the Milo will be ready in three days. We got carrots, more oats, orchard grass. Oh my gosh, we have so much now. Do we have any more seeds? Do you remember with, I think it was Jai with the cross country course. Yeah, it was Jai. Well, here's all the little jumps. I can do little training sessions. Does it actually give any stats? Oh my gosh, I just realized he's not gaining any more stats. He's not, he can't be trained anymore. Is that like a good thing? Like he's maxed or whatever, but I think just his potential has run out. Girl, that is a big old cake. Where did you grow those blueberries? Those are massive. I didn't realize how much like food she has in her home. I don't know why, but that cake reminds me of Lazy Town. You might need more farm plots to plant these, but you'll have to talk about it with the carpenter if you want to expand your farm. Okay, so the carpenter will be very useful is what I'm hearing. So that pine forest trail is a pretty important purchase. The forms on the steam community page said that the house the bookcase has like information about the game but it doesn't say anything about how long seasons are but honestly i'm i'm not sure if it's somewhere else on the forum and i'm just not looking at it i actually asked this question to a friend yesterday when we were talking about the game because she was asking if i thought it was worth it and i said yes and she said oh my gosh can we like romance can we like flirt with the villagers? All I've been able to do is wave to them, but it says right here that um, she doesn't plan on adding romance to the game. There will, however, be 10 main villagers with a unique story and interesting dialogues that you can befriend. So in order to have the foals, I need to buy or build a breeding pasture, which I'm guessing is gonna be coming with the carpenter. I've won a good bit of competitions and I still haven't completed like the wild sprout thing i don't know how long it's gonna take or how many competitions it's gonna take before i complete that but i have enough for the pine forest trail so i'm gonna go and head over to is he in a store yeah i'm gonna go and head over to jai's store so that i can buy this pine trail it is going to be a painful purchase it's so much money like that's the richest i've ever been on this game and i'm about to go spend it all right jai take my money I know George will be happy to start trading goods with Liam too. Okay, Liam, Liam Payne? Liam Payne was actually my least favorite member of One Direction. I like how I felt nervous to say that, like Liam Payne would be watching my videos or something. I used to have friends who were like obsessed with One Direction and they also didn't like Liam Payne. So I know I'm not the only one. Why is why is Liam so far from his home? That's like a good, good walk to all the way to your home. And you know how like Madeline's home is right next to the auction house? And River's home is like above the the like training barn or whatever. You know, like when your grandparents say like, oh yeah, I had to walk like a mile to school every morning. Just like Liam for real. Oh, he looks kind of cute. Oh my gosh. He's kind of, he's, he's, he's tall. Oh my, why did my character zoom up? I'm going to make this my screensaver right here. Okay, so first pasture upgrade. $10,000. Second farm. Okay, that's only 4000 That's not too bad. Into arena. Oh my gosh. I suddenly don't want an indoor arena. Indoor arena who? I don't need that. A new beginner cross-country course is now available in Pine Forest. Registrations are now open at Rivershine's competition board. Before I end this video, I'm gonna go do the competition once. Okay, so first place gets 
1250, but in Lupin Meadow, it's 1150. So we're slowly going up in prize money for beginner courses. This one looks so pretty. We got a little water jump going on. Oh, 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 that was a jump. Oopsies. I'm gonna go a little bit slower because I don't. These jumps are not as spread out as the Lupin Meadow ones are. We got first. The time difference between first and second place, that's pretty cool. My record for this course is 56 seconds. Also, why are there two red ribbons? Did red ribbon compete twice? I think they're just automated names and sometimes they generate twice. Anyways, everybody, I am going to go ahead and end the video there. We had a pretty eventful video this time. Um, we did a lot of competitions. We got a lot of quests done. We unlocked not one, but two new areas. And I'm getting a little bit closer to maybe upgrading the barn a little bit, maybe getting a breeding pasture. We already have the option to get another pasture, expand it uh, for two herds, and then to expand our farm. So I hope if I continue playing this game, then I'll be able to get to the point where I can upgrade everything, be rich, be happy, and, and not lose $12,000 in a whole day because that was crazy also the fact that the indoor arena is so expensive i don't think i'll ever have that money but who knows maybe in the future i'll be able to just like be rich on this game it is literally 1 a.m on the dot i think it's bedtime if you guys want to support me or my channel in any way there is a throne link in the description this is just my wish list or everyday needs for my setup and animals and also my ko-fi in the description you can give any sort of amount of money to me for coffee or anything like that and there's also some free stuff on there as well for anybody who's interested in minecraft builds thank you guys for watching today's video i hope you have an amazing rest of your day stay healthy and safe and hydrated you better be drinking your water and i will see you in the next video or stream Thank you.